As we've seen, changes in an organism's DNA are not usually beneficial. The cancers in Mr. Taylor's family are the result of a mutation in the P53 gene, which normally senses mismatched base pairs in a cell's DNA and halts cell division until the DNA is repaired. Since the members of the Taylor family have a mutant version of the P53 gene, their cells continue to divide even when the DNA has errors. The DNA errors are passed on to the daughter cells. Because of the mutant P53 gene, more DNA changes occur with each cell division. Depending on which genes are mutated, different problems arise. Mr. Taylor developed colon cancer, while his brother developed pancreatic cancer. As we see with the P53 mutation in the Taylor family, once DNA is altered, the changes are passed on from generation to generation. Because faithful DNA replication is so important, organisms have a number of ways to ensure replication accuracy. The first defense against base pair changes caused by replication errors is DNA polymerase. This enzyme adds the bases to the growing DNA strand. DNA polymerase rarely makes mistakes, but for extra protection against errors, it also acts as a proofreader. If the wrong base is added to the growing DNA strand, DNA polymerase senses the mismatched base. The polymerase backs up and fixes the mistake. The proofreading activity takes advantage of the specific base pairing nature of DNA. Since A pairs with T and G pairs with C, mismatched bases are easy for DNA polymerase to recognize. Considering how important faithful DNA replication is to an organism, it isn't surprising that many other proteins are involved in ensuring accurate DNA replication. For example, the P53 protein senses mismatched bases and tells the cell to stop dividing until the damage is repaired. If the damage can't be repaired, the P53 protein signals the cell to commit suicide. To the organism, killing one cell with an error is less harmful than allowing the cell to live and generate daughter cells with the same error. Lee-Fermini syndrome is a good example of how harmful it is to have a mutation passed from generation to generation. If the P53 mutation had been caught before being passed to Mr. Taylor's father, this family would not have developed so many cancers. Besides DNA replication errors, there are many other causes of DNA mutations. Ultraviolet light, hazardous chemicals, radioactive emissions, and x-rays all have harmful effects on DNA. DNA repair enzymes protect our skin from damage due to overexposure to the sun. More than 50 different types of DNA repair enzymes have been identified that monitor and repair damaged DNA. Most of the repair enzymes take advantage of the base pairing of DNA by using the other strand as a template. For example, in excision repair, a stretch of damaged DNA is cut out and the other strand is used as a template to fill in the gap. The sun's ultraviolet rays cause DNA damage in human skin cells. The UV light causes adjacent thymine bases to become covalently linked. This is called the thymine dimer. The covalent bond causes the DNA to buckle, which leads to errors in replication. Excision repair proteins cut out the section of DNA containing the thymine dimer. DNA polymerase uses the other strand as a template to fill the gap. 